Hey sailors, welcome to day two of the sentence. Yesterday, you worked on understanding and writing using complex sentences. And today we're gonna continue with that. The complex sentence, those are the awubis. If your sentence starts with an awubis, it's a complex sentence. And today we're gonna go on with that even more and do some more practice, but let's start off with 10 minutes of reading time. And while you're reading today, see if you can locate any of the awubis while you're reading. Remember, the Wubis starts the sentence. So see if you can find any of those and maybe share out one or two of those when you're done reading. All right, I'll see you back in about 10 minutes. Okay, now that you're back and I hope you had a great time reading, let's get to a little bit of practice. Let's take just a few minutes and play this little game. What you need to do is go to Google Classroom and open up the sentence exercises where we were working yesterday, where you wrote your breakup letter. When you open this up, there's a link, go to Tuesday, it'll say sentence fragment review. Play the sentence fragment game for maybe five minutes, all right? So just play it for about five minutes and then we'll stop and we'll do a little bit more practice with sentence or fragment. So find this or if you need to make it, make it. I'll see you back in just a few minutes. All right, now that you've had some time to play that game, now you're ready to see how you're doing with understanding if you are looking at a sentence. Or a fragment? Are you missing something more in your sentence? Remember, it has to have a subject, a verb, and it has to make sense to be a complete sentence. So right now, let's see how you do. Make sure that you're holding this up so that your teacher can clearly see that you're doing this, or if you're doing it from home, you're practicing. You can use a whiteboard. You can use a half sheet of paper. You can use a note card. Here we go. Let's get started. The first one on here, whenever the sled hit the ramp, is that a sentence? Or a fragment. This one, it's a fragment. Whenever the sled hit the ramp, what? What else? We needed more to go with it. He was terrified. Sentence or fragment? This is a sentence. He was terrified. He is the verb. I'm sorry, he is the subject. Was is the linking verb, and it tells you that he was terrified. All right, number three, running as fast as he could away from the snowball. Is that a sentence or is that a fragment? What do you think? Running as fast as he could away from the snowball. That's a fragment. I need more. Running as fast as he could away from the snowball, comma. I need that. I need to know who, it's, who it is. All right, let's do number four. We found the skates on sale. Is that a sentence or fragment? We found the skates on sale. This complete sentence. All right, number five, are dangling from the rooftops over there. Sentence or fragment? If you said fragment, you're correct. What are dangling? We don't know, icicles. Number six, the puck on the ice. Sentence or fragment? The puck on the ice. This one is a fragment. We don't have anything else. We have the puck and then we have a prepositional phrase on the ice. So there's no verb. All right, let's do number seven. There he is. Is that a sentence or a fragment? If you said sentence, you are correct. Number eight, shaking nervously with intense fear. Sentence, fragment. If you said fragment, you are correct. Shaking nervously with intense fear. Then we need like a comma in the rest of the sentence. All right, although he never made it on the ski lift. Hmm, although he never made it on the ski lift, comma, we need more, that's a fragment. Next one, stepped carefully through the base of the hill. Stepped carefully through the base of the hill. Sentence or fragment, hold it up. This one, fragment, who stepped carefully through the base of the hill, we don't know. Will I be able to recover? Will I be able to recover? That's a sentence. An enormous avalanche down the mountain. An enormous avalanche down the mountain. Is that a sentence or a fragment? If you said fragment, you are the winner. Ding, ding, ding. Run! Sentence. Remember those commands? that we saw before, pass the potatoes, those are commands, they're sentences. A frozen mitten found in the woods. A frozen mitten found in the woods. Hmm, it's a fragment, we need more. 
What about that frozen mitten found in the woods? All right, doesn't quite have that complete thought. So that was some additional practice with sentence and fragment. All right, let's do a little more practice here with the awubis. I wanna show you some fun clips and have you listen for the awubis. All right, so let's listen to some clips. Okay, some of you may have seen these before, these funny ads for paying too much for cable, but listen for the awubis. When you pay too much for cable, you throw things. When you throw things, people think you have anger issues. When people think you have anger issues, your schedule clears up. When your schedule clears up, you grow a scraggly beard. When you grow a scraggly beard, you start taking in stray animals. And when you start taking in stray animals, you can't stop taking in stray animals. Stop taking in stray animals. Get rid of cable and upgrade to Direct TV. Call 1 800 Direct TV. All right, so you should have heard when several times in there. Listen to this next one and see if you identify the Abubis in the next one. When you have cable and can't find something good to watch, you get depressed. When you get depressed, you attend seminars. When you attend seminars, you feel like a winner. When you feel like a winner, you go to Vegas. When you go to Vegas, you lose everything. And when you lose everything, you sell your hair to a wig shop. Don't sell your hair to a wig shop. Get rid of cable and upgrade to direct TV. <laughs> All right, again, pretty funny clips, but seeing the Awubis in action, that complex sentence in action. So taking a look, when you pay too much for cable, comma, you get angry. So looking right here, this is the subject and the verb, but then it doesn't have a complete thought. That's what happens with a complex sentence. That makes this dependent on this. This is the independent clause. You get angry is the, is the sentence here. And you have to have them both for it to make sense. So when you have a sentence that starts with an awubis, it must have a comma and it must have the rest of the sentence afterwards. All right, let's listen to maybe another one of those commercials just to hear the awubis in action. When your cable company keeps you on hold, you get angry. When you get angry, you go blow off steam. When you go blow off steam, accidents happen. When accidents happen, you get an eye patch. When you get an eye patch, people think you're tough. When people think you're tough, people want to see how tough. And when people want to see how tough, you wake up in a roadside ditch. Don't wake up in a roadside ditch. Get rid of cable and upgrade to direct TV. All right. Super funny, great commercials that show the Awubis in action. All right. Let's keep going today and let's do a little more practice. So go back to what we were working on. Go back in here and we're going to do a little Awubis review. So you've got the Awubis right here in front of you. I'm going to give you a little assignment here. So right where it says Awubis review under Tuesday, Use the awubis and I want you to write an excuse letter to Mr. Amaral and I want you to explain why you do not deserve detention for the incident. All right, I'm going to show you an example and then I want you to take a few minutes to write yours. Here it is and I'll have that up there for you. And you don't have to use as many as I use, but make sure that you use at least three and every sentence that starts with an awubis must have a comma. Before you write me a detention, please understand that I am really not to blame. If chaos erupted in the lunchroom, comma, it is because of Herman, who asked me to pass him a ketchup packet. After I tossed it to him, comma, it fell on the floor. When someone stepped on it, it exploded everywhere. Although it made a mess, it was an accident. Before I knew it, people were flinging food everywhere. Since I am student of the month, I should not have to serve time for this incident. Notice, they start with an awubis. Before, before is one of the awubis. If, if is an awubis. After, see after is the awubis. When, so it has to start the sentence with an awubis. That's what makes it a complex sentence. All right, take a few minutes, write your own excuse letter, and then share them out in the classroom. Teachers, you might wanna keep this up so students have an example while they do their writing. When most are done, then go ahead and continue on with the video, but share a few out, have fun. 
All right, I hope you had some fun writing those awubas and sharing those um, excuse letters. Um, I did make a mistake. I said Friday, or I said Tuesday, and really it's Friday. And um, and yesterday I, I put Monday on there, and really it was Thursday. So this is Friday's work, so you're looking for Friday in here. Um, so right now, uh, we're gonna do exercise two, and that's the last thing that we're gonna do. So what I want you to do is go through exercise two on your own, and then we'll come back and check them. I want you to just go through each one and tell me if it's a sentence or if it's a fragment, just like we've been doing um, the all the way along. So number one, miss the birthday party for Sarah. Sentence or fragment? Mm, instantly, that's a fragment. And I know what it's missing. This one, missed the birthday party for Sarah. Who? It's my subject. So. Right now, just spend a couple minutes going through and just tell me if it's a sentence or a fragment. You don't have to tell me what it's missing. You can if you want, but just tell me if it's a sentence or a fragment. All right, so just take a few minutes and then we'll check it. See you back in a second. Okay, last thing, let's check them. So let's see how you did. Number three, we found seven different kinds of flowers. That's a sentence. Number four, the teacher with red hair. That's a fragment. It's missing its complete thought. What about the teacher with red hair? Number five, because she was late for school, right away, it's an awubis, it's starting with because. Because she was late for school, comma, and then it should go on. So it's a fragment, missing its complete thought. Put the puppy down on the floor. That's a command telling you to put that puppy down on the floor. So it is a sentence. Number seven, yelled from the grandstand. That's a fragment. Who yelled from the grandstand? We're missing our subject. One corner of the garden. That's a fragment, it's a verb. There's no action happening in the sentence. It's one corner and then there's a prepositional phrase of the garden. Number nine, after they sat around for hours. Again, there's the awubis. After they sat around for hours, comma, should be more to it, so it's a fragment. Her trip to Europe. What about her trip to Europe? It's a fragment, it's missing its verb and complete thought. Number 11, he fired the rocket. It's a sentence, it's what he did. Number 12, she cried. That's a sentence, it's a short sentence. It's got a subject and a verb, it makes sense. Number 13, hiking across the Sahara Desert. What about it? Who's doing it? So it's a fragment. Number 14, when I get home, right away we see the awubis, when I get home, so I know I, there's gotta be more to it. When I get home, comma, and the sentence should go on, so it's a fragment. Number 15, there are many legends about gypsies. It's a complete sentence. So hopefully you guys are doing good with this and I'm um, feeling confident. You, hopefully you're understanding the complex sentences and the more we practice with them, the more we use them, the better you get. And you're avoiding hopefully those writing fragments. We're done for today. If there's extra time, feel free to read. All right, sailors, have a great weekend. We'll see you back here on Monday.